So a bunch of you guys were asking me um, to show my Gunslinger build, and uh, a lot of you guys were also asking me to make a guide. So Gunslinger is a female class, right? And she has three different types of weapons as her identity. She has pistols for mobility and for her party buff, which I will explain later. Shotguns for second source of damage and melee. And third, her big damage dealers, her snipers. Okay, so your party buff. Your party buff is called Weakness Exposure. You should have this 100% of the time on the boss. Uh, basically what it does is it gives you and your party a 10% crit chance. And how do you equip it? Now, what you should equip it on is Spiral Tracker. You should have Weakness Exposure level 4. Equilibrium, Weakness Exposure right here. And then one final more, Dexteria Shot. You should have it on all of these three moves just because it's easier to manage. If you have it just on one or two, you can still have 100% uptime, but... Um, you're not very flexible on like what skills to use. So let's say if I miss both of these two skills, right? That give the debuff on the boss. I can just use Dexteria Shop, just fly around the boss and boom, easy debuff. Like I said, you should have 100% uptime on this. It's very easy to handle um, and it's also really nice. So now for the raid build. Uh, as you can see on the screen, I should have put a uh, raid build for all the tripods and the skill points required. And uh, you can just copy this, then I'll be explaining how to actually play the class. So now that you have the build, I recommend you to go to uh, Trixion, which is uh, where I'm at right now, and practice your rotation. Now what is the rotation? So first I'm going to be doing the rotation, then I'll be explaining why I'm doing it and uh, how I'm doing it. Okay, so that right there was the min-max rotation. That's like the highest possible damage you can do with your rotation. Now, realistically, in a raid, will you be doing that perfectly? Probably not, right? So, to explain um, what you should do in a raid, uh, you should always have your debuff up. You know, use your Sprawling Tracker, Equilibrium, or Dexterity Shot. And then, what you always want to pull out on cooldown is your target down, then focus shot, then your perfect shot. These three skills are your highest damage skills. They do insane damage. So basically, boom, debuff, sniper shots, right? And then you do like your final two, right? And let's say you miss one, whatever it is, what it is. You debuff again, and then you want to manage your shotgun skills. Now, this sharpshooter skill and dual buck shot, you want to manage first before these two. These two skills are your um, second source of high damage skills besides your uh, sniper skills. But yeah, preferably, try to manage to use these two skills first before any skill. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about stagger checks. During a raid, the boss will sometimes do a stagger mechanic that you have to complete. So as you can see right here, the stagger for this skill says mid-high. So this would be a good skill to use during a stagger mechanic. So the rotation will be last request, then shotgun rapid fire, then rotate to your sniper skills, then go target down. Now usually after you use those three skills, the mechanic will be over. But if it isn't, I would go back to my shotgun skill and go sharpshooter, then it should be over. This is it. Oh my god. Okay, for stats, what you want to manage is crit. You always want to max out on your crit. As of as of right now, since we're in tier 2, I only have 800 crit. But in tier 3, I'll have around 1100 crit. Then, you can split specialization and swiftness. Now, if you want, you can get more specialization than swiftness or vice versa. What I want to do is get more spec because I want to do more sniper damage. But, if you want to be faster, have higher text and movement speed, you can't have more swiftness than specialization. Now for engravings, for tier 1 and tier 2, you want to have Peacemaker level 1, then Grudge Max. Okay, now for some tips and tricks. Now this is the thing where nobody really talks about, but it helps tremendously. So first things first, what people don't know is that you can actually hold your spacebar so it can actually go farther. Now this is me just tapping it. I went to this little triangle. Now this is me if I hold it. As you can see, I went much farther. What you can also do is... um move your spacebar what i mean by that is just watch this being bang you can go back and forth so there's like a mechanic where you have to jump in then get out what you have to do is this super useful now if you just want to quickly get out of something you just tap your spacebar and it's a super fast but short um dodge another thing people don't know is that let's say um i want to get in quickly and use my shotgun skills 
Um, now, I, rec I recommend not to do this because I would save my space bar for like avoiding attacks. But I like to get cocky sometimes. So what I would do is throw my debuff and space bar while changing weapons. So as you can see, I'm a space bar and change weapons. As you can see, uh, I did both at the same time. So I'll show you again. Now it's not recommended because like I said, I would use my space bar to avoid attacks, but it is kind of nice to use sometimes. Now, another thing people don't know is that with your quick step, you have this tripod. When you use this um, move and it hits the, mo the boss, you get a attack speed movement speed for 5% for four seconds. Now later on down the road, once you get this tripod at level five, you'll have like a 19% attack speed movement speed, which is insanely nice. Now this helps the class a lot because you have a very long, Casting time, as you can see, that was like three seconds, right? But if I use quick step, it'll make it a little bit faster. Now, to use it, you have to hold your quick step. As you can see, it shoots like one bullet at the end. And then I get a buff for attack speed and movement speed. Very hard to get used to at first, but once you manage how to use it, it's very useful. And next up is your counter skill. Now, Gunslinger has two different counter skills. The first one being the best one is called Peacekeeper. And the second one, which is not that good, is Last Request. Now, here's why it's not that good. So as you can see, it's a super slow counter. The pistol one is very fast and very nice. All you need to do is just tap it once. You don't need to hold it into the extra bullets. You just gotta tap it, and then the boom is what the counter skill is. Now for the awakenings. So I have Twilight, it does more damage potential, but high caliber has very high stagger. So you can choose between the two. You can choose to have more damage, or you can choose to have more utility. Now personally, when I finish the second awakening quest, I'm gonna be using high caliber. Just because I like the way it looks, feels nicer, and it's very nice for a uh, stagger. Okay, now for the chaos build. So you have two really good skills that clear the map in chaos dungeons. One of them being equilibrium. As you can see, she does a massive AOE around her, and the pistol skill is super strong in cast dungeons. Second one is Sharpshooter. Massive AOE. Both of these skills are really good for uh, wiping big mob groups. Now, if you finish the second Awakening quest, I recommend you use High Calibering Awakening, because it has a very massive AOE. As you can see on the ground, it clears this whole area. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys do have any questions... Um, I'll try to answer all of them in the comments. One thing I didn't talk about is PvP, anything PvP related, because I haven't PvP in a while, and I don't want to, like, give you guys information that isn't, like, meta nowadays. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you're still here, thanks for watching the video. Please like and comment, it would help a lot. And uh, let me know what videos you guys want me to make.